Ukrainian Navy SEALs, trained in the West, are waging a secret war against the Russians, causing them immediate damage. As the Times writes, the Navy SEALs plan and carry out heavy operations against the Russians. One dark night, four Ukrainian divers flipped over the sides of their boat, disappeared under the waves, and headed for the enemy coast. Trained by British and American special forces and equipped with the best rebreathers, they sailed in pairs, leaving no bubble above them to give away their position. The Russians never saw them coming. Deep behind enemy lines, divers from the 73rd Naval Special Operations Center are wreaking havoc on Russia's coastal defenses as Ukraine tries to push Putin's army out of its territorial waters. A compass, a watch, a depth gauge, and metal arithmetic are their only guides. Tugging on a rope stretched between them is their only form of underwater communication. Our divers carry out secret penetration into enemy areas by boat, dive, approach the coast, conduct reconnaissance, demining, landing, and carry out special operations, said the young commander of one of the diving teams, Alex, training personnel for the next mission. While the Ukrainian military's seizure of territory in Kursk has attracted attention, a more strategic battle is taking place in the Black Sea, and it is one that Ukraine is winning. When special forces drove the Russians off Snake Island on June 30, 2022, they provided the country with a corridor to export grain from the port of Odessa. Last September, Ukraine seized control of a number of oil rigs that now serve as launching pads for attacks on Russian targets in Crimea. Now, clearing the Kinburn and Tendra spits of Russians is vital to unblocking Ukraine's second largest port, Nikolaev. The two strips of land jut out across the mouth of the southern Bug River, allowing the Russians to cut the port off from the sea. Ukrainian naval drones and storm shadow missiles have destroyed 26 vessels of the Russia's Black Sea Fleet. The rest have retreated closer to the Russian coast, allowing units like the 73rd Naval Special Operations Center to attack. Ukrainian divers can swim kilometers underwater to arrive undetected or scout tens of kilometers of coastline over a two-week period. We saw the vehicle explode and we saw the ammunition that was inside. There was a crew in that vehicle and they were transporting a shift that was supposed to rotate troops to their positions. We probably killed eight to ten Russians, Alex said. The Russians were stunned. So far from the front line, they could not imagine that they were being attacked by Ukrainian forces. Apocalyptic-looking plumes of smoke dotted skies over parts of Southern California on Tuesday as firefighters continued to battle at least three major wildfires that erupted amid a blistering heat wave and were threatening tens of thousands of homes and buildings. In Orange County, Firefighters used bulldozers, helicopters and planes to control a rapidly spreading blaze that started Monday and spread to about three square miles in only a few hours. The blaze was ignited by a spark from heavy equipment being used by public workers, officials said. By Tuesday, it had charred more than 14 square miles and was heading over mountainous terrain into neighboring Riverside County with no containment, said Orange County Fire Authority Captain Steve Concialdi. It burned some communications towers on top of a peak, though so far officials said they did not have reports of the damage disrupting police or fire communication signals in the area. Two firefighters who suffered heat-related injuries and a resident who suffered from smoke inhalation were treated at a hospital and released. Sherry Fankhauser, her husband and her daughter set up lawn chairs and were watching helicopters make water drops on a flaming hillside a few hundred yards away from their Tribuco Canyon home on Tuesday. They didn't evacuate even though their street had been under a mandatory evacuation order since Monday. Fankhauser said the flames died down last night but flared up again in the morning. She said she trusted the crews would get things under control and that firefighters were keeping them informed. Meanwhile, in the San Bernardino National Forest, about 65 miles east of Los Angeles, some 65,600 homes and buildings were under threat including those under mandatory evacuations and those under evacuation warnings, nearly double the number from the previous day. Three firefighters have been injured since the blaze was reported Thursday, state fire managers said. 